Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series. The exact model for this one is a 3505. The regulatory model is a T90F004. That information can be found inside the BIOS or on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop. And in this video I'm going to take you over how you can open it up and how you can add, remove or upgrade your RAM. If you want your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop, you can check the link in the video description. I will left a, made a short video how to check your maximum RAM capacity based on your CPU so you know how much is the limit that you can have in here. And in this video, we're just going to open it up. I'm going to show you how to get those you know, RAMs removed and upgrade them. We have upgraded these ones up to, uh, I believe, 32 gig, 216 with no problem. But yours might have up to 64 gigabyte max so you can do that too all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop you want to flip it upside down you want to grab yourself a good screwdriver set i recommend you guys the iFixit screwdriver set from this tool set we're going to be using a phillips number one if you get the pro set and uh, of the screwdriver they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not Grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Well, with these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna remove all the screws and they're all the same size and height, except two screws that they are not removable. They are two corner ones. We're gonna leave these screws for the end. We're not gonna to touch them. So we're gonna remove the mid backs, side, and the four in the front. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment areas. Appreciate that. All right, once we remove all these screws, now we're going to talk about these two screws. These two screws have a little something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. And it has an advantage that will help you to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating the screw, you're going to see a gap opening between the case and there. That's when you start doing a few clicks and that's when you want to let go. Same thing on the other side. So there we go. There we have the gap opening. Once you have that gap opening, all you want to do is just grab it. From here, I'm sticking about one or two millimeters of the guitar pick. I'm just twisting it upside like that, just trying to lift up this case. Do all around in the front, just to stick about one or two millimeters. Just walk it around. You want to hear some clicking. Those are the clips are getting loose, so that's what you want to hear. Do all the way to the corner. Towards the right and left side. Once you did that, pretty much it's all game over. All you want to do is grab the bottom case and bring it up, work it around, and it will release itself. Those C locks that I was talking about, those are the ones right on the neck of the screw. It's a metallic C shape. That's why we call them a C lock. Alright, now that we removed the bottom case, down here we can see the RAM right in here, the heatsink and the battery. To upgrade the RAM, you do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary, so you don't need to. But for those people that are really paranoid and they are like, okay, you should do it, that's really important. I've been doing this over 17, 18 years. I never had an issue, and none of my colleagues neither. But if you want to be paranoid and take extra risk, I will call it, you want to pull this jack backward, and that way you can disconnect the battery. Put your fingers on the side of the jack, and pull it back. That's how you can disconnect the battery. And you want to pull it back in, make sure at least you go straight inside the jack. If you go sideways in, you can make a short and damage the motherboard for good. So that's why I always say try not to play with the jack of the battery jack. All right. I will leave that one connected in. And the battery is right over here. To remove the battery, all you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of the triggers and you want to pull these triggers away from each other it's like that. They're like Frenzy. And once you did that, you did it nicely, the RAM could come out in 45 degree angle. And all you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree angle and you want to pull it back on 45 degree angle. You don't want to 
pull it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna crack the dim or the ramp. Slide it backward like that. This is dim A and dim B. These are a DDR4 RAM, this is an 8 gig 3200. You can put another 8 gig right on the other slot in here, so you can have a this 18, 16 gig. That will be a dual channel. Or you can even add a 4 gig here, so 8 and 4 gig, there's no problem with that. Or even you can have a mismatch them as much as you want. You can add a 16 gig and 8 gig right over here if your limit allows you. There's no problem. I'll leave a compatible RAM that we use in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Let's say that you got the new RAM in. Doesn't matter the orientation of the RAM chips on the side or which side it is. As long as the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIM right over here, you can just plug it in. So let's say if I want to plug in the other way around, the notch doesn't match, so I cannot push this one in. Yeah. So I just have to flip it over, bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the jack, and then I can push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna hear these triggers open and close softly. And that means the RAM is in place. If the triggers don't stay open and closed after when you push down, it will make a nice click. That means the RAM is not in place. Pull it back out. In this side, I have to flip it. Then if I put it this way, it's not gonna go through. So I'll flip it, bring it in 45 degree angle inside the connector and towards the motherboard. And that's how you can upgrade the RAM. But once you have upgraded the RAM or removed it, you can connect the battery in place. Now, you want to grab the bottom case, put it gently straight over. Once you have it over, all you want to do, don't push hard on it. Just first screw down the corners and it's going to pull the cover to itself to that side on both sides. Once you tighten up the screws on the side, now you can push on the back mid. You're going to hear dot click sounds on the side. And on the front, those nice, big, huge flex sound, that's what you want to hear. All right. And the last thing down here is to just put the bottom screws in place. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for your Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to... Finish up putting up the bottom of the screw.